Well, here's the last of that shipment of salvage wire from North Africa. <laughs> city got a pretty good deal. Yeah, Barney over in city maintenance said they're already fixing stuff. You know, power lines, the works. About time. <laughs> can you imagine what this town would be like if the power ever crashed? Not pretty, I can tell you that. <laughs> Later, Chris. Someone took the signal box apart all right, but how'd they punch holes through it from the inside? City maintenance crews upgraded the wiring in this one yesterday. Looks like they'll have to do it again. Okay. In your opinion, this reporter sees a train that's jumped an overpass, and this reporter sees chaos and despair all around him. Gerald Brattle here, on the site of New Detroit's own Chattanooga Boo Boo. How does it feel to survive a train wreck? And does this experience scare you away from mass transit? You! You're Gerald Prattle! My wife and I watch you all the time! Why, thank you. She thinks you're a god! She's right! Mr. Prattle, I must ask you not to interfere with our rescue efforts. <clears throat> Would you tell our viewers, when did you first notice something was wrong? Uh, when the train went off the tracks. Hey, you're Gerald Prattle! Oh, look at me! Oh, I'm gonna faint, Louie! Look, it's Gerald Prattle! I tell everyone that unless we hear it from you, it didn't happen. Words to live by. As everyone knows, I'm Gerald Prattle, bringing you everything you need to know in our special report, When Trains Go Bad. More tonight during our regular broadcast. Until then, goodbye and good luck. People adore him. Look how he controls them. You interfered with a duly authorized rescue operation. Oh, cowboy, you interfered with a live televised broadcast. His power, his greatness, that's what I want. I'm gonna have to talk to your superior about that. He's Sergeant Reed, Metro West. He'll be happy to discuss this with you. We'll tell him now. Sergeant Reed just paged us. How's my hair? Is my hair okay? It's like the whole city is going crazy. All the power grids, all the city service grids, everything's out of control. Would someone please explain to me how every system in this city has gone haywire in less than 24 hours? The emergency light is flashing on the East End floodgate system. Oh, great. If those gates blow, we'll have a flood on our hands. The closest control panel is at the corner of Ray and Harrison. Let's go. We should be at the junction by now. I will check the power command relays. Whoa! What's happening with those wires? Live wire? Does that remind you of anyone? The Erg! Dark's own electrical super agent, but he was destroyed! Perhaps not. The repair logs on the accident sites may be helpful. The wiring at all the accident sites has been replaced for normal maintenance within the last two months. Let me guess where the city purchased the replacement wire. All the wire came from E&J Salvage. Their source was a small operation in North Africa. 
This could really be happening. The Erg could really be back. This is Gerald Prattle reporting live from underneath the streets of New Detroit. What are you doing here? This reporter has been monitoring police frequencies in hopes of uncovering the truth about our fair city's current crisis. Tell us what you've discovered so far in your investigations. No. Another accident? One of the floodgates has failed. <gasps> We're trapped! <laughs> We're trapped! Duck, Mr. Prattle. And that's the way it is. Gerald Prattle taking risk, saving lives, and bringing you the facts. This is New Detroit's highest rated reporter. Goodbye and good luck. I am so good. <gasps> Citizens of New Detroit, I bid you greetings. I am the Erg. A perfect melding of energy and intelligence. I now control all electrical systems in your city. Unless my demands are met within four hours, I will destroy you all. Oh, roll tape, roll tape. This could be the biggest story of the year. I long to experience the world in a more human form. I require a human body to inhabit. I have chosen your most perfect specimen. Brilliant. Revered. I will destroy New Detroit unless you bring me Gerald Prattle. <gasps> Back in one minute. Ten four. Welcome back, citizens. You have four hours to bring Gerald Prattle to power generating plant 9176. As a demonstration of my power, I will stop all electricity for one hour. I demand police protection. Do your job. Oh, I hate to interfere with the press. Besides, without any power, I can't call for backup. Gerald Prattle, you've just been ordered to sacrifice yourself in order to save a city. What are you going to do now? Thanks for the show of support, Fawn. Gerald, don't you get it? This could be your ticket out of this town and straight to the network. Oh, what I wouldn't give to trade places with you. This could be my big break. You leave this to us. You're going straight to the Metro West Police Department. Protective custody. Got it? Come on, we got news to make. Mmm, network. You head through the back while I enter through the front. You sure we can't just give him prattle? It is a temptation. This can't be happening. So much for the element of surprise. What are your plans? Oh, are you gonna get prattle up? Is negotiation enough? Are you gonna attack? And if so, how? Who is this Erd? Where is Gerald Prattle? Let's discuss this. We don't want to hurt you. I have no such reservations about hurting you. Uh, Minor! Uh, uh, I have unfinished business with the two of you. 
Come and get her, Roboflop. You two should have stayed out of my way. You are threatening innocent citizens. If you'd given me what I wanted, no one would have been hurt. You cannot harm a human being for your own selfish desires. Oh, but I can. This machine will transfer my persona into Prattle's body. I'll be human. To taste, to touch, to smell, to see as a human. But thanks to you, Prattle isn't here. Stop this now, Erg. I warn you, don't tangle with me. No! This is Gerald Prattle bringing you live coverage of the Erg Urgency Countdown to Catastrophe. I don't believe this. Gow! Oh, My chiropractor will not be happy with you. Yes, exactly as I'd hoped. Let Mr. Prattle go! My fellow citizens, a new star is about to be born. But first... Hey, wait! Hey! Stop already! I'm free! I'm free! What... What just happened here? Oh no! This isn't what I had in mind, but I like it. <laughs> right back after these messages and now back to the show citizens <laughs> I'm human <laughs> this is wonderful such new sensations this body is so so alive Murphy I'm in here it's me Switch her back! Never! Luca! It's amazing what these bodies can do for a being that can utilize their full potential. How come I can't make me do that? What's wrong? Is my wire shell too complex for your little organic brain to control? Could you tell our viewers what it's like to have your body switched with an erg? Stop! Time to see what this baby can do. <laughs> can't do anything that might harm your body. You got that right. But if she went, I mean, if he, it, I mean. My body gets away? We can't let it. I can seal the complex. It may be able to move quickly, but it can't get out of the building. Oh. 
up. Do you think there's a future in body switching? <laughs> hey! What are you doing? about my story. Miner, come here. We've got to warn him. Done. What are you doing? It's like the way that Erg's learning to use my human body. I'm learning how to use this one. Part of my wiring understands this transformation machine. Help me back down to the fight. I'm getting my body back. If this is about moving equipment, you need to go through the proper unions. Do it! You think by sealing me in here, you can stop me? This is too easy, even in a human body. Hey! Not so hard! Such a headache. If you're in your own body, then the Erg has returned to... Ah! Ah! Do you know what you have done? Thirty seconds, and we'll give you the world. Ever since this reporter's fateful encounter with the Erg seven days ago, I have endeavored to spend the better part of each newscast allowing you to live the terror that I lived. And while the Erg's electromagnetic field jammed my hovercam signal, preventing you from seeing my heroic battle, take my word for it, ladies and gentlemen. When it comes to our valiant law enforcement officers, this reporter's admiration is second to none. Goodbye, and good luck. Thanks to the Erg, Gerald Prattle gets a hefty raise and his own talk show. I keep clipping coupons and eating spaghetti. What's wrong with this picture? Ah, uh, Miner, you should have sold your story rights like Prattle did. But perhaps if the Erg comes back... Uh, no, thank you. <laughs> Move, citizen. We'll be right back. And now, back to the show. Next, your favorite trio of inseparable siblings is coming at you with more zany adventures. It's right, Yakko, Wacko, and their adorable sister, Dot, are ready to wreak loads of havoc on Kids WB. Don't move a muscle. Steven Spielberg presents Animaniacs. Next. <laughs> 